Hello, this is Cindy from Cinder's Papercraft and I am bringing you what I think is a really, really lovely project. See my nice fancy bow? Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And my little tag. And my box. Now, you're probably thinking, you better not pull that because that's attached to what's inside. You're probably thinking, yeah, 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 I've seen boxes like that a lot. So, when we open the box, there is a card, which would usually have a lovely bow. But I have shot this video three times. And I mean three times. Oh, right. One cut me off after an hour and it disappeared. So here we go, guys. I'm going to try and be quicker on this one. So that's the box. The tutorial isn't about the box, but if you want to see how the box is done, you're more than welcome. I can do that. Now these snowflakes are out of this one. And they're those two. So they're beautiful. And when we open them, we get And maybe that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Now you're probably thinking, what? Where's the rest of that? So we open it again. Ta da! And then more. So, what this is, is a mega concertina card. That's what I've called it because I don't know what else to call it. It's probably a name for it, but I haven't found I haven't found it. So, that's what I'm going with. So you open it up once and twice. And if I show you from above, you can see there's lots of layers. There's no way of showing this beautifully. Um, it stretches out. Oh, well, you put it's 24 inches long, so that would pretty much take up a really nice section of a mantelpiece and would make a really nice decoration actually. I wish I could show it all to you. But there you are. It's lovely, isn't it? Right. Now, that was the first one I made. So the second one which I'd done earlier, I thought I would go with a different thing. Well, not a different thing, different colour scheme. which is this one and this one I've put these little clasps on now I haven't finished this but I'm going to um, this is the one I'm going to sort of complete with you but yeah see I just they pack such a punch and I just wish wish you could see it properly now I'm going to get asked I, these aren't metal, they're a very uh, realistic looking metal, they're plastic and I got them off AliExpress and they were 50, 50 of them for 3 99 and I absolutely adore them. Right, so, here we go. So the main, the main um, thing I'm going with is, what is that? Christmas happiness. Christmas happiness I'm going with and also the Merry Music Speciality Designer Series paper. You get 24 sheets. Um, it's a much thinner paper than normal but that actually works to our advantage and you get 24 in a pack and not 12 so it's a, it's a good bargain and my favourite ever um, punch see labeled it learning <laughs> I'm finally learning um, I use this on nearly every single project I love it I truly love it that to me is a must and a scoring board everything else you can just go with the flow so I am going to do a bit of that and sorry I got my 
ring on. I try not to wear rings on here because they can get caught and get distracted. But unfortunately, my hands are so swollen. This is usually really loose. I can't get it off. So please accept my apologies. Right. Here we go. So here is my mega concertina card. So we're going to use, this card is usually made, or let me rephrase it, I made this with 12 by 12 card. And when, when I actually come to do this, if it's 12 by 12, you will actually find that the two bits that join in the middle will butt together. Whereas because I'm trying to make sure that everyone can uh, do that, um, there's a bit of a gap. It will make complete sense. But I went by the 8x11 because I want everyone to be able to do this. And more people have A4 than they do 12x12. 12 12. If you've got 12x12, 12 12, use that. Right, so you don't have to have any stamped panels, but I think you should. You can have all one colour DSP. I like mine contrasting, but you may have yours how you like it. Um, there's no rules. It's just what you like. Do what you like. Right, so I'm going to start off again. Right, so I've done one piece. And you'll see that one piece on its own, it's fairly easy. Now, you might be thinking, well, that may be easy to you, love, but it ain't to me. It really is. I promise I will show you how to do this and you will not. You will, oh, no, I shouldn't say I promise. Hopefully, I will be a good enough tutor to teach you how to do that. Right, so we have... One of my most used pieces, and that is my scoreboard. This is my favourite scoreboard. It is one of the best. Right, so you can see this is 11 inch by 8. Now, this is really easy, she says. Go into my cheat sheet. No, seriously, it really is. You're going to do two of these. Well, I've already prepared one, because you've got to remember, I've done this video quite a lot so you're going to do two of what I'm doing I use wax paper on my paper to make the stylus go um, go down properly and not have that draggy jumping feeling and it does help with hands small ball for card big ball for paper so we are going to score at two, four, eight, and ten. Really easy. Now, I am now Now, obviously, you don't do this. <laughs> I'm doing this so I can show you <laughs> what I'm doing. And just imagine everyone having these cards with pencil lines on. I started a new craze. Right, so, now then, we are going to, on this piece of paper, we are going to score from this score line down to that one. So we're not scoring this bit, and we aren't scoring this. So what you do is you're going to do this at two and six. So my suggestion is put the thinner one at the top because you've got less distance to go. And we are gently, not even so much as don't put it in, just sort of fill the groove and sort of go down. So from that score line then, to that one okay oh and you can see that right so six gently run it down so you're in the groove and from that score line to that one 
and I am just going to highlight that as well. There. Right. And while we're there, we are going to score these two at one and seven eighths. Oh yeah, no, I can see the difference. One and seven eighths. You can even hear the difference. Right. So that, my lovelies, is it. Right. So this is where, if you have a stamping up trimmer, go away pencil, <laughs> you will simply pop that in there, put that blade there and cut it down on both. Now, you don't need to have one of those at all. If I move that and I take a trusty knife and a metal ruler, and you do need a metal ruler because otherwise you will be taking chunks out of your plastic or wooden ruler. And when you go to do a straight line, it will be horrendous. Right, so safety precautions is a very sharp knife keep your fingers to the other side of the ruler but let's face it i've still got fingers left so it can't be that difficult always check it before you remove it and you will do the same if you don't have a knife and you don't have a scoreboard Get your pair of scissors, score a bit here, and then cut down. You do not need fancy tools. They help, but you don't need them. Right, so let's put that back. I'm trying. I watched um I watched a uh, one of my videos you know when you go on to videos and then it it brings you up oh this is suggested well i come up on one of them and a why don't you tell me how squeaky my voice was and b i am one mucky crafter right so what i'm doing here <laughs> while i'm mumbling incoherently about my voice is i'm just reinforcing these lines okay just burnish them make it some all all ready to go right so this side the skinny side is going to be the side that we're going to join to our piece of paper now this is important so that's the other half and what we will do is rummage around on my desk for an hour right so you are going to glue that and that but as you see if I do it that way there is going to be a gap you won't feel it because you're covering it with two sheets but if this was six by six they would meet do you see what I mean yes hope so so you need to do the reverse to this now this really, really is simple. Right, so we are going to put that one up and that one down and that one down. Okay, so that one is down, up, down. So you're doing the opposite of that with those two, okay? So then we are going to have that going up. So we want that one going down, sorry. So we want that one there. Okay. Do you see? Let's get that one out of the way. 
So that's how it will look. So the technical term for this is you will do valleys with these two. So that means they go down. And this fold here is a mountain, so comes up. So this one is a mountain because it's coming up. And this one is a valley. This one is a mountain. And then, of course, valley, valley, mountain. There. So, I think as long as you do the opposite, that will match up. But just if this bit goes down, pop this bit up. So when that goes down, they come up. Okay. Hopefully I've explained that. So when you fold this for the first time, you are going to need to burnish all of these lines. Okay. Okay. So I think that is, I think, I think, silly me, you could have told me I was doing the thinner one, the wrong way round. Why don't you tell me? Dear, oh dear. Right, so that then goes up, that will go down and up. So, let us <sighs> right. Wonder how many of you out there were saying you've done that wrong, love. Well, at least you can see in depth what to do when you make a mistake. Because let's face it. No, I was right the first time. Oh, I tell you what, good job I'm the teacher, eh? Otherwise you'd be confused. <sighs> right. That goes down. Down, down. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, at least you'll finally get it drummed into you which way it is and that will go up right so what I told you to do the first time was right so you are going to have the small end down down up on this panel up that panel up, that one down. Okay, so there. Just the opposite way to how they go. Right, now let me get this glued. So we are just going to run glue along that bit there. And we are going to butt that up, line it up with the top and the bottom and push, push that bit up so that it can't go any further, if you see what I mean. That's right up against that score line there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with this one. Right. And we are going to again line it up with the bottom and the top and make sure it's right against that score line. Oh, no, 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 no. That's better. Right, so. We are now going to flip that over and we are going to do the same 
with this bit. So this bit should go on lovely. <laughs> right, so we are going to push it up against that one. Make sure it's lined with the top and bottom, like so. And give that a good old squish, my technical term. So now we're going to fold it in the new in its new surroundings right so it is a case of pushing it all down because it's not going to want to so we just need to re reburnish these because it's been added to something else and if you want overnight you can just put a couple of bulldog clips on Right, so you will now find that you have four panels on show, two big panels, two little ones, and there. Now we are just going to finish off the other two bits that I have. Now, in case you were wondering why I scored to one and seven eighths and not a two inch on there. You will see in just a moment. Right, so what we are going to do is we are going to put glue on that bit only up to the score line. I do hope I've explained this well enough. They look difficult, but they're really not. And I, I so hope I've explained this well enough. Right, so you're going to push that edge right up against that seam there okay make sure it's right there give that a quick rubber and we are going to do this one you can do this with um, double sided tape At the moment, with my hands the state they're in, glue is the best for me. And I do like my glue. I do. Right. So. Now. That. Is. That. Now, again, we are going to make sure that those two are together. Exactly. And we are going to re-burnish that. See? It goes nice and closed. Or oh, it closes very... It closes flush. There. See? I don't know if looking at it helps you that way. Right, so what we have to remember, the most important thing is we've got that small edge that we had and now because that's been fixed it will make these the corners before they were aiming downwards whereas now they're just flush so if I show you that if I push these two bits in you will see that the four pieces are laying flush and then you can close them and them which will show you but once you've once you've burnished that and it will fold so easily see nice and easy so now <sighs> let's see what I have oh I've got some cheats Right, so I've gone for all black. I know that'll look solemn, but I'm going to dress it up after and then I can show you the picture. And I think you'll be surprised. Right, so we are going to pop that one on there. 
Now, as I have done this multiple times today, now with this this thin paper, you can use the snail. It's not card. It's lightweight paper. So you snail will be enough or any tape runner you might have fuse will definitely be enough the only thing with white is can't always see the creases oh let's get rid of this if you ever need to lift up fast fuse or snail snail you can pretty much just take back up it bonds after a little while of um, being on there but if you've put fuse or double-sided tape and you think oh no I didn't want it there you can get your hot, hot glue gun and warm it up which will then start to remove the stickiness of the adhesive where it warms up and you will be able to remove it see I know all the things that go wrong and how to get out of them I think that says something about my uh, crafting style and also I do a lot of colouring and I use alcohol markers, markers, pencils, water pencils anything you name it i love it so should you i mean everyone knows about these they do work you really have to rub like crazy it's not just oh it's gone you've got to rub it like mad but it does work or get yourself one of these gel pens you probably have one so that is a, a Signo Uni ball, and that's a board, and it's in white. And let me see if you just warm it up on your finger, you can literally. Well, that doesn't show very well, but you can just draw over things, and it will hide them. Right. So now we are going to go on to the other colour. So along there. Well, who knew that was going to happen? Hmm? That had to, didn't it? Am I being thick? Yes. Right, so. even get into the packet. <laughs> right, so you are going to remove that and carefully you are going to put that on there and it's done. Well, that went far too easy, something's got to go wrong. I'm unnerved. Right, you don't really need that much on there. Right, so we are just going to put that there on that panel, which probably will leave a uh, wider margin. But do you know what? I'm okay with that. No, I'm not okay with that though. See, with snail, you do have that time where you can lift it. But once you've rubbed it or it has settled, you won't get that back up again without the heat trick. I hope you've had a nice weekend. This is currently Sunday. And just recently, 
I have been rather poorly again, but I am now back to good health. My hands are going down, although actually they're not shaky at the moment. So my nerves are obviously behaving themselves. Right, so these are the ones here. We want these ones to show. So when you lift it, you will find that it's those two and those two. So we're going to leave those blank. So that will be white, white. So we want to shift our card along. That one's going to go in there. I've got some really, really great, um, great projects coming up. And I am also, at the same time, working on my um, customers. My customers will have access to other videos. Um, yeah, they'll have access to those as a as a thank you. And it's been rather slow going where I've been feeling poorly, but I am now back up and running, and I'm looking forward to getting some of those uploaded. Right, so. As you can see, this card does take up a lot of room to make, but my goodness, it sure looks very, very impressive. Right, so we now go to the white ones. So, eh, eh. <laughs> just trying to remember. Right. So that will be white. So yes, that one, I believe. Is it that one? Yes, I believe it is. Also that, that one. All oh, decisions, decisions. It is. Ignore me. Well, don't ignore me because you might miss something important. <laughs> right, so this looked too big on one of them. So I'm just going to have a little look. And it is. So I need to trim that. And I think I am just getting my shakes. So let's do this quick for you. So I hope you're all feeling well. Um, now, I'm probably really going to offend someone, and I desperately don't mean to, but one of my lovely subscribers, every single one of you, are very very special to me you probably won't believe it but you genuinely are um someone sent me a beautiful message to say was i all right um they hadn't seen anything for a week now i don't know their name um but their username is this is where i'm really hoping i don't get it wrong but they know who they are and i'm sure they forgive me um I think it's Chop Shop Master, I think. And uh, if I've got that wrong, I really do apologise. I hope I haven't, but I was just so touched. All of you, um, all of you are just, you take the time and you'll leave a, a comment and you remember, and oh, I don't know. It just feels like a really good group of friends. And you're all 
really, really wonderful. So, I just wanted to thank you all. You are all wonderful people. And I'm very lucky that I have such lovely subscribers. And... I am, by the look of it, oh, I need to trim that a bit, going to be nudging on the thousand subscribers soon. Who knew that I would pick up so many subscribers so quickly? I'm overwhelmed to be honest when I think about it. Um, so, there will be giveaways, whether you're in this country or you're not. If you're not in this country, I can send you handmade goodies or other bits and bobs. So we have that coming up. Right, now, I have used that which I think looks ever so pretty now that is card yeah see my hands earlier were having a a tough old time and that was on one of the ones that went wrong on the one that I lost so we are going to pop that in there now I could feel that those were slightly ridged up. When you trim things, it's always worth just running your blade down the side. So if, if there is a, a ridge, it looks better. Right, so that is going to go in there. I'm not going to put a sentiment on there at the moment. On the other one, I put Merry and Bright, but I'm not going to do that on this one. Right, and I'm going to just briefly going to show you how to do this, although it's not rocket science. Right, so in this lovely, lovely pack is that and that, and that's what we're going to use. You can stamp the colour. Here we go. We can stamp the colour, but I didn't like it. So, we are going to do our own. Now, I am going to use crumb cake to colour on this bit, because if you see, it actually leaves that in there. That's not me being silly. It actually leaves it so it looks like it's round. Put that glue back on. Right, so I have my Versafine. You can do this in your Memento or your Archival or whatever is your favourite black ink. And as I'm not watercolour, oh well, no, actually, because Versafine is great for watercolouring, it's just not great for alcohol markers whereas the memento is good for alcohol markers right so see that bit there yeah it's sort of curved so you put the curved bit up to there right <laughs> let's get this done before I lose the ability to do little things and let me move them out of the way and then then just get a fine line marker this is a uni pin oh I don't know it's just a thin black liner and all I'm going to do is 
just draw two lines doesn't have to be neat does not need to be tidy can be anything you want I don't do perfection I I don't think I want to to be honest I like things to be unique and not perfect right so we are now just going to quickly colour any colour you want these are the stamping up markers these are the standard ones these aren't the alcohol ones as I've said I already have my alcohol markers and I wouldn't change them for the world oh, right so I am going to now glue that one in I mean you could put another row in the middle if you didn't want to put the sentiment right now on those ones I stamped let me show you on this one because I probably won't do that you don't need to see me do that I done the um, the two step the two step and um, oh, what are they called what are they called pine cones thank you and I'm sure if you don't want to see me do that although kind of would be nice to finish it come on the people that don't like long videos I always try to make sure I get the very first bit done which is the instructions and then if anyone wants to stay on and watch the rest and they can okay <laughs> uh, let's clear this out of the way I was shocked to see how dirty um, my working environment was right so we have two of these two different sizes these here with the fine detail on are the outline and these ones that are quite smooth are the fillers so I am going to get my early espresso for the outline and crumb cake for the inside you use whatever color combination you like you can stamp it off or you can leave it full strength right So, right in the middle, and the reason I'm not using a mat is because I have lots of this grid paper. So, now this one doesn't line up properly. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think it's meant to be slightly off. Because even if you see that there's some that way, if you go that way, it would still be out of the line. If you know what I mean. I'm sure you do. Right. I've got an air bubble in my stamp. No, I'm not. That's it. Right. Let's move that out of the way. And let's finish this.
So I think they should go that way after thinking about it. Well, if I have any complaints, then I'm taking my car back. <laughs> See, anything I don't like about snail is it doesn't necessarily stick to the edges. But that's me, not the actual thing. Right. So, today I have done quite a few of these, as I told you. And instead of me keeping them, I am now going to give away what I do on a tutorial. So, if I do a box, then I give away a box. If I do a card, then I give away a card. I keep everything, and I do use a great deal of what I have. But, there has to be a limit. So, what I would say to you is if you would like to win win this card it isn't a competition that sounds like oh you can win this if you would like to have what are you doing it's been a long day right there so if you would like i'm going to put one of the clasps on this one which i'm not going to wait and do in front of you because i need to hot glue them so if you would like to win one of these cards because i have a couple if you leave a comment and just put in there i would like to be entered then I will randomly pick a name and I promise you it will be random. It, there will be no favouritism. Um, and I will send that out to you. So, if you've seen anything that you like that is stamping up, if you pop onto my website, you can order that 24-7. Um, I have lots more tutorials coming. Now I've bounced back. Um, I'm pleased to say um, I will be all guns blazing now and I'm also working on my customers tutorials as well um, and they are just for my for customers um, if you want to see a box for this just let me know and I can do that um, when I actually do upload or upload if I do the tutorial box I'll show you this one finished right so thank you ever so much for spending part of your day with me it's been an absolute pleasure I hope you've enjoyed it if I have confused you do you know that I think they're going to annoy me that way no. it'll just have to annoy me yeah okay no so if you do have any other questions, please let me know. Hopefully, I have shown you how to do those. And I will say goodbye for now. Thank you for sharing part of your day with me. It has been a pleasure. And if you'd like to see the gift box made for that, this is what they look like on there my beautiful bow and that's out scraps that's always a good thing so that is the gift box right i will love you and leave you and thank you to all my subscribers if you're not and you'd like to see more you can click down here um please like if you like it and then i know i'm doing the right thing and thank you so much to all my subscribers you really do mean a lot to me and i say that very sincerely have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.